What up, it's your girl Najee. Everybody hates K, but everything golden. And you're listening to T7M Radio with my man's Mr. Irrelevant. Yeah. This is the best of seven sports talk. T7M Radio with Seven Mitchell and J.O. Call as y'all call up. 347-989-8102. Talking NFL. J.O., you in Charlotte right now. We talk on and off air about the situation going on with the riots in Charlotte. Um, Cam Newton. One of your biggest superstars in the city of Charlotte when it comes to sports. Um, I was laughing today. You have brought up the term that you have seen some classify Cam Newton calling him. What was they calling him? Uh, they was calling him Coon Newton. <laughs> <laughs> kind of wild, crazy, but a lot of people over here is unhappy with Cam Newton. So they was calling Cam Newton Coon Newton. Some people feel like, I'm assuming they feel like he's not doing enough. So, I mean, I really want to get it from the horse's mouth. You're directly in Charlotte. You know, this is your hometown. Um, what's your thought, I guess, your expectation on Cam Newton and what he should or should not be doing in these types of situations? Well, I, I don't expect for Cam to necessarily be pro anything. What I do expect for him to do is just to call it, the way it is, the way it's shown, and 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 the way it's being pre- presented, and I feel like, you know, maybe possibly he just not educated on on these issues, and he just he don't have the same feeling that somebody like myself may have. You know, you know, maybe he grew up in a different environment, and he have different views. I'm not sure, but I just remember this time last year. He was made a whole lot of race comments that he felt was unfair to him. You know, he was saying a lot of, you know, people never seen a quarterback like him do the things he do, dance, and, you know, he was hearing racial comments. And you come into this season, it's a, it's a, it's a different tone. So I'm disappointed with the inconsistency of, of, of his, his comments or beliefs. or I don't know what changed him. But I would like for him to, you know, because he's like the Michael Jordan of this area. You know, he's probably the biggest star uh, in Charlotte since nobody. I think he's the biggest star we we ever had, honestly. So I think he has that that power and he can reach a lot of people. And he probably could change a lot of people's minds. So I I just think, I wish he would exercise his, his power and... And just bring people together. And the only way you can bring people together is, is, is telling the truth. Well, it's funny that you had brought that up. Very interesting point. Because I remember back when we had did a recap of week one. And we had talked about how Cam Newton had took the high road with the officials in the post game. After taking a, you know, a few headshots that were not called in the first game against the Denver Broncos. And I had made the point that I was feeling maybe he was feeling that backlash that he got last year. He, like you said, he took a lot of backlash from comments that he made, celebrations and stuff. So he might have felt a little bit pressured during the off season to really tone it down as far as his opinion um, on everything. So it is definitely interesting how you brought up, you know, last year he was real vocal on, on even the littlest things, and right now approach at a different angle. I'm not I don't know if it's a good look, if it's a bad look, but I definitely do see the inconsistency. This is the Best of Seven Sports Talk T seven on radio. We talking about Charlotte Riots, Cam Newton and the Carolina, what's going on? Three four seven nine eight nine eighty one zero two is the number to dial in people. Now they look like they are gonna try to keep the game between the Panthers and Minnesota uh, in Carolina. What's your thoughts on the NFL Opting pretty much to keep the game in in in, in Charlotte, in Carolina. <clears throat> I think it's important to keep it in Charlotte. Um, you know, I think it would have people uh, even more stressed that the game would be uh, moved to Minnesota or, or wherever else. Um, protesting. Uh, I mean, we just going by the protesting. Uh, the first day was was anger. The second day was violence, and the third day was peaceful. So, um, and here we are Friday, and I just expect for it to get lighter and lighter as Sunday come around. We may have a couple of signs up near the stadium, 
but for the most part, most of the protests and, and what people fearing is what happened at nighttime. So um, I think uh, you know football can bring people together, even if it's just for a day. You know, is 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 you know, it's a great start. Maybe hopefully to, to better the community of Charlotte. So and people love their Panthers, Panthers <laughs> particularly when they win. Right. So um, I mean, I'm a for, for, I'm aesthetic for y'all. I, I, you know, y'all got the All Star game taken away from from the 2017. So I did not want to see a trend of sports events being taken away from the city of Charlotte because it's a blue collar town. It's a lot of you know hard work and then you know a lot of good people in the city of Charlotte. I got family in Charlotte, and you know it's. It, it, it would be a bad look for for the good people to really be punished time and time again for, you know, a small amount of people that just don't seem to be on the same page. Um, is Cam Newton a puppet now? Do you feel like Cam Newton is a puppet in the NFL? Cam Newton been a puppet. He just, uh, he's been a puppet for a while. I remember when, he, when uh, the Panthers first drafted him, they told him he wasn't allowed to wear piercings and get tattoos he don't have any tattoos and if I'm not mistaken they told him you gotta keep a, a haircut so don't expect no uh, braids or no dreads from Cam Newton don't expect no tattoos don't expect none of that they told him you gotta be, be our quarterback you gotta be clean cut as, as clean as possible so he came in the league like that now when he got some success you know he danced on the field um, he had his little comments, he, you know, he had some terrible post-game uh, interviews when they lose. He was pouting, kept the towel around his head. Like, Cam has had a lot of up and downs in Charlotte. Uh, you know, it was 50-50 when his uh, contract was up. A lot of people saying we need to get rid of him and he don't deserve the money he's uh, asking for. He really just became beloved last year. So, uh I don't know, man. Cam Newton is an in- interesting uh, figure in this city. I know, I, you know, I like Cam. I don't want to call him a puppet. You know, you you making a you make a good point. I, I think the jury is still out on Cam Newton being a puppet to the NFL. It, it, it seems to could be potentially going in that direction, but you know, it's got to be a lot of pressure on this young man for him to have the potential that he has, um, and he has the potential to be one of the greatest quarterbacks. You know, and he's already one of the most elite in the game now. He's a young man. We know how emotional and sensitive he's been in the past. You have spoke on that. Um, so he has a lot of pressure on him. So maybe him not speaking out as, as hard body as some folks may feel is probably easier on him and his focus and preparation, you know, to try to get a championship. Because at the end of the day, that's what he needed to be shooting for is getting the Super Bowl. Um, championship and, and make up for what happened last year, but you know it, it's, it's that could be debatable. I think you know some can say he's a puppet. You know I think the jury may still be out. 